can I get a paid caregiver, Medicare or Medicaid? Listen, if that's why you're here, like everybody else, stick around to the end because I'm going to be sure and drop all the correct answers on you. You know what I mean? So you can properly be able to figure it out. How you doing today? My name is Kion Church. I'm the big hearted caregiver. You know what I do? I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long term health care program or what's more commonly known as LTSS. And listen, I'm only here doing that because I believe every family needs to survive. I don't think that you should have to go broke trying to take care of somebody else. That's that's really not cool. And we here to put a stop to all that. All right. So if you're here with me today, you know, hashtag live. If you're hearing a live, if you're hearing a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, we got a lot of uh, a lot of a uh, big fan base on YouTube watches from other states. You know, see, this Medicaid thing is serious and it's in all 50 states. You know, what I mean, um, some people hit me from the lower uh, islands and, and the other day and I still had some good answers for them. Don't matter where you at. Make sure you chime in, you know. Put your name in the comment, you know, shoot me your phone number, call me if you need me, all right? So, the question of the other day is, how do I get a paid caregiver? All right, well, uh, we know about the two insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. I'm going to say like this. First of all, Medicare is like something for more older people, you know what I mean? 65 and up, I think you got to be qualified to even get into that. Uh, most of the people that we help are really younger than that. Some of them are older, you know, because we help people all, all age groups children to uh to adults you know so with that being said everybody medicaid medicaid in the long-term health care program is eligible for a paid caregiver now i don't really know how to put it together with medicare you know i ain't figured that one out yet i ain't gonna lie to you some people say oh man well i got a special waiver and this and that look if you're getting a special waiver and you with medicare you know teach me something let us know how how you doing it however you pulling it off Drop it in the comments, you know what I mean? But us here today, we are Medicaid, right? And we get our services through LTSS, long-term support system. You know, that's 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 the common thing. Uh, 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 long-term health care program is what they really call it. So, you know, what you got to do is, is really easy. I'm, I'm going to give you the whole plan in less than 10 minutes, all right? See, for people that's already Medicaid, it's, it's really easy, you know? People that's Medicare, it's going to be a little harder, but... If you're Medicare or, or you're something else, you can get the Medicaid. Now, once you're Medicaid, all you got to do is drop an application in. Drop the application in. That's going to get you started. You're going you to apply for LTSS or long-term health care program because that's going to get you the pay aid that you need. Not only that, that's going to allow little Johnny, little Susie, or whoever is taking care of you currently to get a paycheck. All right? So you're going to drop that good application off. They're going to assign you two things. Medicaid will assign you two things. Number one thing they're going to assign you is a nurse to your case, all right? Now, the nurse is going to make contact with the doctor. The doctor is going to uh, tell Medicaid all about, uh, uh, you know, what you got going on, your medical history, why he feels that uh, this program will be able to help you. Now, the second person that they're going to drop your application off is to uh, is called a financial worker. Now, everybody in Medicaid already has a financial worker. So if you in, don't be, you know, don't be sweating this. People think like, oh, they're going to be all in my finances and I don't want to let them know what I'm working with and this and that. Listen, ding, 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 ding. If you already are in Medicaid, they already know what you're working with. So don't be afraid to, uh, you know, tell them a little more about your finances. You know what I mean? It, it don't even make a difference. They know everything. Trust me. All right. So look, if you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me rocking in this rebroadcast, Hashtag rebroadcast. Put your city, your state, any good information, you know what I mean? Let us connect. Let's let's build together 2023. We're going to do this thing together. All right. So look, first step, like I said, you're going to put the application in. Now, if I were you, this is what I tell everybody. You know, we got a lot of clients that, that really have been able to benefit from this information over the time. So if I was you, what I would do is I would contact my doctor and I tell him, look, this is where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get a pay aid. I'm trying to get somebody to come through here, give me a little stability, and we're trying to get them a paycheck to make it all happen. So what I need you to do, Doc, is when Medicaid call you, let them know that you think I'm going to be able to benefit in this program. Now, your doctor knows you. He already knows you're going to benefit. He's going to do what you ask him to do if, if your co-pays is paid. You know what I mean? It's January 1st. I ain't going front. These doctors need their money on these co-pays and these little doctor visits and stuff like that. Look, if you want referrals, the best thing you can do is talk to your doctor.
doctor, go in and see him, you know, put some of that cash over in his hand. You know what I mean? The insurance company pays him every time you come to him. So if you need this man to work for you, make sure he's been getting paid, you know, the whole time. Because you want to tell your doctor, you want to say, hey, look here, doc, you know, I need this. I'm trying to get to this program, you know. This is what I need you to do. I need you to tell him, you know, uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a good fit. You know, he ain't going to mind doing that for you because you've been doing everything you have been uh, uh, asked of. You've been coming in regular. You've been paying him co-pays. You've been doing everything you got to do. So the doctor going to sign off on you. That's your man. You know what I mean? We ain't got to worry about that. All right. Part two is what I said is uh, the financial application. They gave that piece to the financial worker. Don't worry. Unless... You've come up in a serious financial game, you know, that everybody knows about. Maybe you hit the lottery, you know, that trust fund you had finally uh, came in. I don't know. Whatever it is. But unless it's something super, super major, you still qualify. Don't even worry about that. All right. Now, one, two, three, getting along to the third piece. The third piece is really simple. It's the best piece, man. Look, I tell people every day, this is your time to shine. All right. If you want to know what the best things are to help them to give you some help, this is what it is. You got to talk to them. Now, this is your chance. It's called the interview. Step three is called the interview. Interview. That's where people from Medicaid talk to you. People from in the program that you're trying to get into, they're going to talk to you. They're going to say, look here, church. Uh, tell me something. How you how you, uh, how you do you think this program going to help you? And then you're going to say, look, man, every day I need help. You know, I need help getting up, you know, brushing my teeth. Uh, 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 my son, you know. He helped me put my shoes on. You know, I can't bend over too straight. You know, I can't cook for myself. Whatever it is that you need, whatever it is you need, here is your chance to talk. So, look, once again, if you're here with me, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. If you're watching this thing on YouTube, make sure that you uh, hashtag your city and state. You know, tell us all about your big hearted caregiverness. You know what I mean? How's it going for you in 2023? Your goals and expectations. Do you want to get a paid caregiver in 2023? If you do, let me know. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Hey, it's only one way to play. If you're trying to get some stability in your life, you need a paid caregiver. How are we going to do that? Medicaid. All right. So look, I kind of broke down the three steps. Once the three steps are over, they're going to roll it out and they're going to call you. And they're going to say, hey, look, man. First of the month, we're going to get you into this good program. Now it's up to you to call me and say, look, KC, I want to get your services because I heard that uh, you can get my son paid. And yes, I can. He's been there. He's been there for you. Why would I want to bring somebody else into your house? It's COVID times. Things is crazy. Flu season going on January 1st. I don't want to bring somebody into your house. What I want to do is get your family members that's taking care of you already. Get them that paycheck. Look, KC puts the paycheck in people's pockets. That's all I do. That's it, baby. Trying to get you paid. Trying to get your people's paid. Whatever it is, we're going to get you a little help. We're going to get you a little caregiver help. We're going to get you a little help. We're going to we're gonna get the caregiver a little paycheck, you know? So, look, we're going to wrap it up. But I got one more thing to tell you before I leave. If you're a caregiver like me, you know, I don't know if y'all know my story. I had to move back home, you know what I mean, to help two people that desperately needed me. And I don't know, but... Working for two people is like two jobs, man, and, and two jobs for two people. I mean, I, hey, it, nothing I could really do, but I had to do what I had to do, and I needed to make some extra income. If you like me and you and you, and you and you like and you would like the chance to earn a residual income where you could work one time, put the work in one time, keep getting paid over and over and over, so you can help be the best family caregiver that you can be. See, if you all your time is taken up trying to make money, you'll never be able to help the people that that need the help. You know what I mean? And if you uh, if you spending all your time, your days and nights, you know, get up, wake up, go to sleep, taking care of other people, doing dishes, doing this, doing that, you know, it's going to be hard for you to put any money in your pocket. You know, so if that's the case for you, you know, chime on in to me, man. I got something for you, man. I got a big money opportunity for you. I got I got whatever it is you want to make it into be, man. You know, if you're looking to make a couple dollars, let's do it. If you're looking to take over the world, let's do it, man. But if you're looking to earn some extra residual income that's going to come all the time, like clockwork, once you put the work in, let me know. 302-689-3240. Look, if you're here with me live, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Hashtag your city, hashtag your state, hashtag your country, hashtag big-hearted caregiver, whatever you got to do. 
Make sure you share this video with somebody. It's somebody in your life that you know who needs to learn about this, you know? They just may need an extra income, you know? They may need, they may need a caregiver. They may need to get a, get, get a family member paid. I don't know what it is, but if you know somebody I don't know, make sure you connect us. You know what I mean? 2023 is about the people and how we're going to make our connections, all right? I got to go. I love you. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of somebody else is bad business. How else you going to get into the into the gates, man, if you ain't looking up, you know? You got to look out. You got to look out. And plus, if you're not looking out, you're not like me, man. You, you soft. You selfish. I don't know, man. We don't do that. Over here, reliably, man, it's all about other people, man. We helping out. I love you, man. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. We're going to do this every day, all right? Take it easy. Peace.